Well, welcome back to Madame Across New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. I shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Horn Hollow today, where it's the weekend, so we'll be doing a bit of Happy Home Paradise customization. Um, I thought I probably need to do two of them today now I think about it. Hold on. How, how, I, I recorded two of them in advance, which you might see spoilers of if you pay attention a lot to today's episode. So I need to. I do one now and I record one tomorrow. Hmm. So I'm just drinking because I'm actually going to be a bit busy later today, which is why I'm recording so early in the morning. It's about 10 or so. Um, so I'm just trying to think when I'm, I can record the other one. I suppose I can record it on Monday. And I can do one tomorrow. Will that be okay? That might be easy. We'll, we'll basically see how much time we have. Um, and if I have enough time, I'll record another one. But anyway, good morning, everyone. Right now in Fortnite, it's 10.47am on Saturday, September 17th, 2022. Um, so yeah, if this one's super quick, then, you know because I am going to go out, meet with some friends later today. Um, so, I, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, you, you don't care about my planning at all. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying it for my own uh, purposes. I'm going to record this now. If I and then, you know, get ready and all that stuff, if at the end, end of time I still have time to record another one and I'll record another one, but I, I, I deem it unlikely that I will. Mainly because I slept in a little bit today, you know. Could have, was meant to wake up at nine, you know, you ever hear the alarm go for morning and nine o'clock, it's a weekend, I'm like, I'm just not up for it right now. Slept until ten. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't doesn't really matter now. We're, it's, it's entirely dependent, basically, on um, the Happy and Paradise customization we do, um, which will you know. Well, I'm, I'm not going to say we're getting lazier and lazier with the Happy and Paradise customizations. Is I suppose if if anything, it's sort of like. It's harder and harder to find unique themes, so a lot of the things I'm sort of just going, I'm sort of just doing quite laissez fairy esque because I'm like, I really thought about it a lot the first time I did it, you know, now now we'll just sort of do whatever <laughs> and we'll see what happens, which maybe that's the wrong sort of attitude to take. Um, I suppose that's kind of like dependent on how you vision things, but but it's just kind of um, what we're doing. We're just sort of vibing, just seeing what sort of customizations are available to do. That's really cold in my room right now. I don't know if it's just today or whatever, but it's alright because I bought a load of um, wintery esque clothing, casual clothing recently. Wearing a nice Disney sweatshirt and D Disney sweatpants because it turns out um, a store I went to um, was it Primark? It might have been Primark. It might have um, had a Disney collaboration and it was all really cheap because, you know, Primark's pretty cheap. Um, but re reasonable quality as well. You know, and it's not long as it's like a luxurious brand or anything, but you know, it does what it needs to do and it's cheap. So, you know, it's all right, good stuff. Oh, yeah, chair shop. Um, family space with a fireplace. Hippo, art studio, we kind of done. Beneath the sea, we kind of done. Greenery, we've done like a million times. So, all my dreams are. So, you want like a sleep space? We, we've done that like three times, haven't we? We've done that with Olivia, we've done that with. Whatever, uh, I don't know. Let's do um, let's do your chair shop, Fang. Why not? I don't even know what that means, but it's, it sure is weird. So, um, I assume it's meant to be a furniture store. Now I think about it, I think someone told me what this chair shop was at some point because I asked about it and they looked it up. <laughs> I have, I have that memory. Um, I apologise if you're one who did and I forgot. <laughs> but shout out to you, Chic Chair Chalet. Okay. I, I'm just going to guess it's a, a, a chair emporium, which, you know, how well can we display chairs? I don't know. We're going to make Ikea, essentially. Um, where are we going to put you? Oh, I guess it makes sense to put you in the like the city district, but I don't want to put another thing in the city district. It's so overcrowded over there, which makes sense for a city. But, I mean, the city district is just too good for what it is. Mm. So I'm sort of just seeing which of these particularly strikes my fancy. I might put you here. Would it make sense to have an Ikea at the top of like um, an autumn mountain? Not really. Ikea in the middle of a desert? Hmm. That one doesn't really make sense. A beach? <laughs> no, we'll, we'll put you a Deidre. <clears throat> don't think about it too much. This one, the outside, I don't think matters in the slightest, I'm going to be honest. But, um,. Uh, I mean, it just kind of feels like we're going to put, like, downloaded chairs. I don't I don't really know what else to do with this customization. I mean, I guess I'll, like, maybe, I guess we can make it, like, a small sort of, like, kitschy chair store or something. Chair store, chair emporium? Is that even a thing? 
my furniture store, I suppose, makes more sense. I don't think many furniture stores are exactly just for chairs, but. Well, this one is, but this one's for like office chairs, so it's a bit sort of specialised. What on earth of this? This one just has chairs everywhere. <laughs> I'm just looking at chair stores. You know, we just got like linings of chairs and chairs along the walls, which we can't do. I guess, if anything, we'll just make it look like the chair section in Ikea. Um, I don't know how big we want to make it necessarily. Do you literally just have every type of chair? <laughs> That's actually incredible. Um, I guess that means we could probably sort of divide things up by type of chair. Um, do we want to do a 10 by 10? Let's do an 8 by 10, why not? I like doing fancy different room sizes nowadays, so um, I'm not sure what sort of flooring we'll use actually. Let's see what, what wallpaper options we have before we decide. Wrong button. Um, you don't want something too busy. I might just base it off as Ikea. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what ward I want though. Does this seem, it seems like it could be a shop and pour him. And then we check out counter at the back, does that make sense? No, let's have check out counter at the front. Let's set, set it up like a supermarket. Me thinks. Um, what do you recommend the items? Types of chairs, okay. Eas easily done. Easily done. Well, let us. We need a checkout counter, certainly. Uh, let's have it on this side. Um, I'm trying to think. Stuff like this. How, how did we do the checkout counter in um, Peggy's customization? I, I don't remember, but we're, we're going to have. A white and blue thematic, mainly because Fang is white and blue. Um, so I think we'll just keep that as it is. I don't know what we can do to make things look quite sleek. We certainly want a showcase area, I think, for some of the chairs. I guess we could have a stall area, I'm looking at this. Stylish spotlight, that's pretty cool. Certainly need two of these. Like this, if you want to check out your... I need to see what like an Ikea checkout looks like. Ikea checkout. It's been so long since I've been to an Ikea. Do they have a... Oh, they have really big... They don't have a conveyor belt. I guess that makes sense. Um, not really much need for a conveyor belt. You just kind of need like a really big thing. I suppose we could do the thing that you always see in the supermarkets where we've got like the big old pillars next to the checkout counters. You know, we've got the pillars and it's got the lights on being like, this counter's free. Come check out. I don't know if that's really going to give that sort of vibe by putting this here. No, it just kind of looks like we're hiding. <laughs> but we could put uh, pillars around the place. In which case, we probably should just make it a 10 by 10. And I want to leave a little corridor for people to check out. No, they, they check out and then they leave. Uh, we're going to give you our, our workers actual chairs to sit on. Because why wouldn't we? Um, I don't know why I only rotated it halfway. Something like this. I guess, even though it doesn't make as much sense, we're going to do the checkout counter like this and we're going to make it a big old like office desk, I think, in, in between them. Even though this looks, this looks more like a convenience store sort of checkout counter, but um, I think it just looks a little bit better in this regard. You might disagree, which is fair enough. But just something like this. We can check out over here. Just something like this, then we could put other stuff like baskets or whatever on the side. I think we should have an area for like a showcase, like a like a dining room setup. I don't know where we're going to put it. I think we're going to put it in the back right area. I was just seeing if I had a rug recommended, which I do. I don't want black map though. Or do I want a black map? Maybe I do want a black map. Hmm. 
dark wood. We could pretend it's like on a stage, I suppose. If we did something like this. You know, pop it down like this. Pop, pop. I didn't mean that many, but so, something like this. To be like, ooh, it's on a stage, a dining room. Um, hold on, what, what, what chairs do we have to put in? Antique and peacock. Okay, so let's do an antique dining room. Probably need an antique table as well. Just sort of tie everything together. Antique mini table, that's the only option apparently. Um, but maybe we can make it like a, a fireplace scene. Something warm and cosy. That'll make people look at it and be like, yeah, I want that as a, I want that chair combination. Chair combination? You want natural colour? You know, there should probably be a white um, stage, shouldn't it? I don't know why I made it a dark brown one necessarily. Or we can make it black. Victorian Gothic, so in right now. I don't know if that's true. Don't don't quote me on that. Um, but it might be. You know, who's to say that whatever you want to be back in fashion could not be. Let's see. Two by two? No, three by two. Be nice if we could put um, rugs on other rugs, but alas, poor Yorick. What? I knew him well, Horatio. It was the East and Juliet was the sun. Um, well, actually, I'm not sure if I like that more, but I also can't be bothered to do that all again, so, you know, we're just going to have to live with it. Where are fireplaces? <laughs> I guess we could put a stone kitchen in. Maybe that gives the same sort of cutesy kitsy vibes. And then a gramophone? Wait, we have a gramophone as an item? Oh maybe it's um it might be a small item. We actually don't have a gramophone. Oh no, we do. Phonograph. There we go. Um, what other antique set stuff can we put down? Console table. I'm not sure if I super love that. I'm gonna be honest. Put that down here. Father, grandfather clock. You might be like, what room is this meant to be? I don't know, don't think about it too hard. I've always just put some like low, low plot plant, but what? Pot plants or something. I would like, yeah, a small pot of plants. Or maybe we want big house plants, I'm not really sure. Which makes the most sense. I think the big ones make the most sense. Be like, whoa, look, it's a showcase. Oh, we don't have enough room to put lights around it. I didn't think it's through, did I? I'm surprised we didn't get those earlier, though. Oh, everything needs to move over. It wants to write. Okay, well, that gives us the opportunity at least to change a wood. Maybe it should be a black wood stage. And a white carpet. Maybe that would look better. Or we could just put a huge old Persian rug underneath it. I don't know if I want a yellow one. Do we have another... Do we have a 4x4 like Persian rug? Shaggy rug. Red? Blue? That's okay. I would just say it's a bit big. Elegant blue rug. That's probably what we want. Or elegant black rug, even better. So gothic. So I'll just sort of put the stuff here. Stuff like this. It's like you try and hide a 
Hide the lights of the plants. Pop this stuff down over here. Look at that, it looks like a properly furnished room and everything, maybe. I don't know if it needs two lights like this. If anything, it kind of looks like a very intimidating interview room or something, but <clears throat> just pretend it's a bit of a set piece. It's a bit old fashioned. Oh god, ow, sorry, just need my table. A bit old fashioned, but don't think about it too, too much. Um, what else can we put down? So my throat. Um, it's definitely not the vibes I was thinking I was going to go for. For this customization room. That but, you know, whatever. If we're too lazy to do another thing, we should just do more stuff here. No, we should probably, um... Let's do, like... I don't know how to separate things in this area. I guess we'll put columns down to try and separate things. One, one step to the left. I'm trying to make it feel like warehousey esque. So I guess we could do that. I don't know what we do over here, to be honest. That's also a bit of an uneven warehouse, isn't it? We need to be like here. Hmm. I know we need to be here, which um, obviously makes no sense, so we're not going to do that. So we can instead do these. I suppose we could also have those. No, that's just in the way. Maybe, maybe we just ignore these two. But I just want to get that warehouse sort of feeling. You know? Is that too much to ask for? Oh, we need to put one there. <laughs> hmm. Quite the conundrum. Why don't we just get rid of these? It unfortunately can never be quite scented, can it? But this gives the illusion that things are centered. Actually, maybe it's centered. Hold on. One, two, three, four. No, it's not. It's slightly shifted to the left, but, you know, so be it. And I think it has to be this way. Oh, you know what? We could have done. We could have just put the other checkout counter here. Like we initially planned to. And then I didn't do that. Wait, there's just no room. Wait, there's room here anyway. What am I doing? Oh no, it's because I moved it slightly, didn't I? Um, move it slightly again. I think that's... I think that's fine. Probably a bit inconvenient for the worker, but oh well. <laughs> but just sort of to deal with it. Um, let us have... See, we can't like stack chairs up as a thing. So all the chairs we have are just going to have to sort of like sit next to each other. I guess we could try and do outdoorsy chairs. Garden chair. This is the outdoor section. For all your outdoor chair needs. What sort of outdoor chairs are there? Um, a peacock chair. Let's have it in... Brown and green? It's going to be quite colourful, isn't it? Mm, so much so that the colours actually kind of clash a bit. Let's do white and green. Oh, but we've got two white coloured chairs, that makes no sense. Do you have like a grey option? Blue? Oh, but we can't do everything blue. That's going to make no sense. Okay. Make that green. No, we've already done green. Um, I think I'm overthinking this. Make this brown? 
I really done blue. I'll just keep it green, whatever. Yeah, don't think about it too hard. Just 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 send it, you know. We could put this on like a little raised up platform thing as well. Quick quick raised up. I'm not sure we want a black platform necessarily, but here we go. <laughs> um No, let's do it like this. They kinda of look like a a boy group or something, you know. <laughs> like a band. The, the chair raises or something. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm losing it. Something like that. An outdoor chair showcase. Um, why don't we get some office chairs up in here? I don't. I don't really know. I was trying to think. We can have like rows of chairs like this. <clears throat> oh, maybe we should have a sofa section. Or oh, we don't have sofas as a recommended option. Maybe, maybe we can just have like a lot of fun looking chairs near, near the exit, you know, stuff like this. Gosh, there really are quite a, quite a few sort of colour combinations, aren't there? <laughs> I don't want to make everything blue though, but now I'm just making everything blue or white. Which ain't really much better, but... It's just for some level of cohesiveness. These are just the random chair section. You know, be like, you, you're looking for a, f a funky chair? Don't worry, we got you. This is the chair emporium, after all. We have every type of chair. <laughs> Probably not true. What, another lab chair? Some of these definitely need a reordering. Just because of our height. I think this should have been a more colourful one. Vivid, whoa. And thus we can make this one a bit more brightly vivid as well. Make us red? I don't think we put red down. Actually, we have put red because that vivid one's quite red, isn't it? Ah, colour combination so difficult. Something like this. I was going to be like, we should put a basket up in the entrance because it's like a store. But when I thought about it a bit more, I was like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really get a, <laughs> an entrance basket, would you? In a, a chair store, it's a bit difficult to lug around. Open? I mean, I guess. Looks a bit tacky. I don't really like it. Um... I'm not really sure. I just kind of want like rows and rows of chairs. And I'll put a couple of sofas in because I think I, I think it only makes sense. A sofa is probably just like a type of chair, you know, it's like a really long chair. Or someone like um, a simple sofa, you know, just sort of, let's really arbitrarily choose a coloration. It's a pink one, why not? I don't think we put pink down, but we, we'll put the sofas here. Here. We'll put it in. A Moroccan sofa, why not? And the only place in the entire city where you can get a Moroccan sofa. Um, something like that. And then we'll put like another column of chairs here, I think. It really is quite of a mess. Not really sure how I feel of it. Um... I guess we can do like office chairs. It's quite an artsy one, isn't it? Blue and purple? I don't I don't know if we've done that colour combination. This looks you know <clears throat> Not sure this looks great. <laughs> All I can really say, I'm not really in love with this customization. I'm not like, wow, this is really tickling my fancy. It's sort of like this looks really weird. I need to move everything across like that, don't we? To get enough room to get another row of chairs. But then we need to have another chair there. And we kind of run out of weird chairs. I guess there's a bit of a weird chair. Get pastel coloration. One more. One more sort of like kid-like 
amusing chair. Oh, what? Wheelchair? I mean, I guess. Let's not be ableist. Bit of disability access. It's, a, it's one of the first ones you see. So if you need it, boom, just take it. Go around the store. Beige, why not? <laughs> I'm just really arbitrarily putting things down now, if you can tell. Um, if anything, these are quite big. It's big, big chairs probably come at the front. A massage chair. Also near the front, you know. If one of your relatives really is into buying, whoever you came with is really into buying chairs, but you're not, just, just take a sit down in that sort of um, massage chair. I'm sort of gravitating to other weird chairs. A lawn chair, that makes more sense for outside, right? Oh well. Ice chair? What? You literally don't have enough room to put all these chairs down, so I don't even know how how you would manage this. Right, wait a minute. Let's put a couple of stools down, why not? Put a couple of um What are those called? The things you put your, your feet up on. Footstools. I, I swear they had another name, like a a stranger fancier name or something, but I might, I might just be making it up in my head. Do we want to put like more staging down for these ones? Because otherwise it feels a bit like... Open, doesn't it? Maybe that's just me. No, I put it in the wrong place. These actually feel like it's, I know, part of the store if I do it like this. This is one of the weirdest customizations. I mean, it kind of, you know, ticks all the boxes, so I guess I can't really complain about it. It's certainly unique. It's very strange. Um, we don't have a two by one dark square tile? Why? I mean, it's, it's just an absolute mess. <laughs> and I just realized we put a load of pillars in front of windows. Oh my word. Um, whatever. Yeah, just don't think about it. It's not it's not the most well designed warehouse <laughs> in the world. Table pop displays, put a couple of these down. Free. All the chairs here are free. Let's just pretend it's a second hand store. But we also went for a really elegant theme. So I'm not really sure why I did why I did this. Oh Susume? That means recommended. Special offer. Best choice. But we can't put anything on this table. To be like, this is the best choice, so I think we're meant to put that with the chairs. On air? Why? Open, closed, welcome, VIP, I guess. <laughs> I don't... I genuinely don't want, don't know what to do. Um. Maybe, maybe that can be like one of the awards being like, oh, whatever, the Forbes 500, top, top 10 choice for buying chairs. I don't know. Don't think about it. Maybe it's selling with cushion being like, buy this cushion. Colourful quilt. Oh, let's do the oh, this is me one. Look at that. Buy that right now. Buy that. Buy that. Your mum made it for you. You tell me you don't want to buy it? Why would you do? Why would you do? Why would you do that? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. This customization makes no sense. Um, I don't even know what small thing I could put down, which would even be reasonable anymore. Um, I should not put a gramophone down so early, though. I'd just slowly lose it. What else is there on IKEA checkout counters? Like nothing. I'm gonna put a basket down. It makes no sense. Maybe, maybe we have like a a form. You know, you want to register to become a member. You really need lots of chairs in your house. Boom. Medical questionnaire. Name list. I don't know. This makes no sense. I don't even think about what I've done. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is terrible. It just makes no sense. I should really choose a different wall <laughs> paper. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense on Windows. I wonder if we can make it feel a bit more kitschy. 
just by changing the stuff we put down. That's possible. Because I feel like this really has like a sort of secondhand chest or sort of feel. So it should feel a bit like strange and a little bit quirky, you know? Yeah, something like this. I'm not sure if I want this wallpaper necessarily. Paintball wall makes no sense. But something where you walk in and be like, oh yeah, this, this feels... This feels like the, the, the old second-hand antique store or something. Just like a little bit of weird quirkiness. You know, something like this. It's a bit busy. Um, actually, I'm not sure about this wallpaper. That's okay. Things I didn't build any of this with it in mind, so it's a bit of a far cry to sort of change it all now, but I was really not vibing with it before. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm vibing with it more now. Okay, this this is starting to get more like it. Ooh. Like this feels like an antique sort of like second hand store, doesn't it? In which case I think like we should change the the staging underneath here. To be or not to be. No, to be like a, a dark wooden one or something instead. I think I might fit a bit better. Put like V stuff down. It's not bad. This is a hard pivot. Informatic direction. Of basically being like refined and chic to being now extremely gaudy. Which I think like is something we had to do because it's so difficult to put all these different chairs together and make it make any sort of thematic sense. So having it be so over the top and colourful and bright and gaudy, I think it makes sense. I think it just makes sense. You might disagree, which is fair enough. In which case I welcome you to do your own customization. You know, this game's been out for a while. Purchase your own. I like this one because it looks a bit worn down, the wood. And if anything, maybe we should have this as two different wood colours. Just throw... It's, we, we've got so many different colours working together. The only way I think it works is if we throw even more colours together. Just to absolutely mess everything up, you know? You know what I'm saying? So it sort of looks like an organised chaos. Really, it just kind of looks like a chaos chaos, but... You know, no, no one has to really know about that. I'm trying to do this to make it look like shelves. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Might want to change our accent wall too. No, I like it. I like this one a bit better. We'll stick with it like that. Uh, we should probably get rid of the windows. Um, creaky. We're doing a hard pivot into like orange coloration. Makes it feel a bit more old, doesn't it? I kind of like a soft orange. <laughs> like you're coming here in the evening or whatever. Do some perusing. Um, we probably shouldn't have made everything look so high tech over here though. It's okay, we can still just change these. These are the only things of any sort of thematic fort behind them. A white brick. What on earth, Felix? Absolutely terrible. Um, I might blend in too much now. I mean, if anything, these pillars kind of need to be like wooden pillars now, don't they? Okay, so we are actually changing quite a bit more. Than expected. Maybe we should make these dark pillars natural wood. But we have done like a sort of very hard pivot from modern stylings to very antique ones. Okay, I think I do need to change our top right rug, uh, our top left rug, sorry. Our top right rug. Top right rug's fine. I mean, it's a set piece. It's kind of going to look like whatever thematical we were going for for the actual thing. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. But I do think that top top left one, currently top right one, is a little bit too much. I think it's a little bit too much colour, but it actually 
because everything else looks so earthly and muted, it's actually stealing away all like the attention. Like my my eye can't help but be drawn up to it. And actually, these colorations should now change to like red. I think orange probably is a bit better if that's an option, but it's not an option. Um, yeah, okay, we 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 can't use that rug. That rug is far too far too bright. But we can use. I think we should use a patterned rug of some sort. It's a bit too big, these rugs. Oh, you know what? We can do a special rug. Why not? Um, maybe like, like, a, like a, a cookie? That seems strange enough, but I wouldn't question it if I saw it in like an antique store. <laughs> Rearrange them slightly. Something like that. There we go. Look at, look at this absolute, bless this mess. I think it's starting to come together, actually. And you might be like, no, it's not. In which case, I'd be like, uh, yeah, maybe it isn't. But <laughs> I'm enjoying it, you know? It feels like it, I've, I've actually gone with a thematic now, and it's absolute chaos. Which is good, you know? A thematic is better than no thematic. Certainly, that's what I, me thinks. Um... Just, yeah, it, it's got like a real sort of like antiques store vibe. Or is it a weird sense of uneasiness? Probably contributed by the fact that I set it in a haunted house sort of um, ambient noise. Just put generic stuff that you might see in like a store down. I'm trying to make it feel like homely, but it's just just a little bit unsettling, and it's also you know not being cleaned properly. <laughs> Fun new direction for this, huh? You sort of it it just it looks like a hodgepodge of a load of different items, and I'm kind of living for it. I think I might need more wall items to be honest. I feel like we should put like a work of art up here or something. Um, which of these are legitimate? The left ones are legitimate. It's quite a big one. We could put this one up here. Very random painting to be put up here, but then over here we can put another one. We can put glowing painting. It's a bit small. I kind of want big ones. A birth of Venus. Why not? Such a strange vibe we've gone for. Um, I will say, I think we do need to mute some of these colours a little bit. This one's probably a bit too much, as is this red. So just sort of shift them down the colour scale a little bit so we don't stand out quite as much. And if it fits together, this out of blue I think should probably be like an orange. Maybe that would actually... That looks so weird. Which is why I'm going to stick with it. Like, it's, it's all so strange. What an absolute mess this is. Anyway, we're going to roll with it because I think it's quite funny. <laughs> if anything, we've we done what I, I accuse a game of doing all the time. Of combining two very random themes together. Oh, it's a furniture store. Also, it's like an old time like haunted house or something. It makes no sense. But honestly, I, I'm kind of living for it. This, this is my insanity era, you know. Other pop artists have a like, you know, what, what, what Taylor Swift had, she had, um, what's that, what's that album called? I can't remember what it's called. Whatever era that is. But, oh, look what you made me do. That era, this is my insanity era, where I just do things, it doesn't make any sense. I'm just sort of rolling with it. I want to give you, like, um, a detective hat. Yeah, maybe do rag makes more sense. There we go. This is a thematic, I bet most people probably would not have put a fang in. But me, I'm crazy. Why not? <laughs> I don't even know what we're going to do on the outside. We're probably just going to do a generic sort of thing and we'll put some chairs around outside as an outdoor, out, outdoor display. I don't know. 
Uh, I think it should be quite small. Let's do this one, because then we can do the thatched roof, which always looks a little bit unnerving. Ugh, hate that colour. Ugh, I don't want a log. Light beige? Okay. Dark. Ugh, maple's not really what I want. I want, like, an amber or something. Not an amber, sorry. What? I want, like, a mahogany. That's... Walnut? Okay, w w walnut's good enough. Um, I don't want this sort of fencing, I don't think. Could put just like a load of trees down. Oh wait, hold on, we got a load of autumn trees. We don't have to just put these trees down. Have a bit of a mix of what we got. Hardwood. It's a bit difficult because everything looks very sort of regimented, doesn't it? Um, okay, so maybe we'll just get rid of these trees. Probably want a path of some sort. Wooden path. Up to the furniture store. That weird old furniture store on the hill. The kids always talk about it. At school time they have weird rumours that are around it. But it turns out this is a perfectly, perfectly normal uh, furniture store, you know. It's really hard to put things which make sense in here. <laughs> I say that because the trees are very difficult to... Oh gosh. Can we make this a different colour? How do we make it red? Don't know if we even can. Um, we're going to make it seem like it's in part of like a, a small town or something. So I want to put like a, a park bench. I think out here somewhere. Plastic bench. Yeah, like a garden bench. Just like this is a, a nice location for, you know, like elderly couples to go on a bit of a walk. I don't know why I did navy blue. It doesn't really make much sense. Um, let's keep it black. Could do red. We'd like never use a red customization otherwise. Just like a nice little... Alright, goodbye dragonfly. Just a nice little place to go to, you know, for like a walk. Let's put some st street lights. Street lamps, even. Brown. Something like this, you know? Just like a, a nice little walking spot. Let's put some flower pots down, I think, over here. Sort of like a nice little garden path. Of all the same flower. <laughs> um, I think we always put these sort of like leaves down, but... Also, this tree's kind of like really in the way. But I also can't put it anywhere else. Let's, let's do brown leaves. I mean, like over here is going to be... I don't know, what, what else would you possibly see like on a, a random walk? Flowers? I can't put more trees down, but I really there's no like room without just putting them directly on top of each other. Which is obviously nonsensical. So I guess we'll do that. Maybe that's far enough away that you can't tell. Sincerely doubt it, but... Whatever. Anyway, um, chairs. Oh, if anything, we should have had the outdoor... The outdoor chairs over here, right? That probably makes a bit more sense. Didn't really think about that. Um, instead, we're going to have a, an old rocking chair. It's old, old man Fang. I've decided he's an elderly grandpa now. This is where he um, sits. It's where he reads his books. He sits at top of a mountain, yells down to others, like, come to my chair store. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm, I'm absolutely losing it. Um, this build makes no sense anymore. But it's got a story behind it, which is, you know, I suppose compelling in certain certain degree. Oak. Teak. Oak. Maple. That's what we name some trees. None of these thematically colour wise fit, so I guess we'll just roll with this one. He'll be drinking some hot tea, coffee, I don't know. Coffee, let's do a bit of coffee. 
polka dot yellow. Um, he's sort of just chilling here. Anyone can chill here. He's got more chairs behind him on display. Because why not? Just, just tons and tons of chairs. Where, where do you get all these chairs from? No one knows. That's part of a mystery. It's part of your lure. Grandpa Fang, why do you have so many chairs? All the better to see you with, my dear. That's probably the best joke I've ever done. Um, oh, we can't have another red one behind us. It's going to be too much red. That's, that's actually a top... That's, that's a 10 out of 10 joke. All the better to see you with, my dear. I can't believe it took me that long to lead up into something like that. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like this. He's just like, he's displaying even more of his wares behind him. Where's Wally? You know, that sort of thing. I guess we could put the sign down. This one. And it's like, chairs, chairs, chairs. Chairs, get your chairs here. Fresh, something, something, chairs are here. Oh, it's backwards. Alright, well. That will have to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know. I, I, I give up. You win. You win, Fang. This customization, it makes no sense, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm losing last step. I'm, I'm definitely losing steam after just putting stuff down randomly and being like, yeah, that probably works. <laughs> it doesn't really work. I'm going to be honest, but it was kind of funny. So we're just going to roll with it. You know, some you, you, you have some hits, you have some misses when it comes to Happy in Paradise. This is like, I mean, you know, you shoot for moon. Sometimes you're, you're going to miss him. You're not going to get all the hearts. And you won't get all the stuff you need. What on earth is going on? I'm going to have to reply to that in a second. Uh, I really hope people have done better things than I've done with this. This, this, this is utterly terrible. Okay, it's not terrible, but it's, it's really not... It's very strange, is probably how I put it. Chic Cher Chalet. Fang. What have other people done? I see, man, that was a smart thing to do. Instead of putting a load of different chairs down, they used the same chair and just customised it differently to show different variations. I don't know why he's got like a... I guess it's a chalet, so he's meant to have a little homing boat, house of boat. This person just did a load of set pieces, that's probably a nice way to do it. This person just like made a cafe or something. <laughs> I don't know. It looks nice though. I don't know. I, I think it's very hard to marry a load of different chair concepts together. Actually, this one's done it quite well. They actually sorted out all the chairs by them, like the type of chair and put them in different areas. Oh, this person actually done like a um, very fashionable, high class one. That, that's just a living area. Oh, this person also made it quite fancy by having it, um, having like a red carpet sort of theme. <laughs> I think this is probably one I should not have made a 10 by 10. As soon as I sort of pivoted, I should have been like, I should reduce the size of this, but you know, whatever. But hindsight's twenty twenty, And so is a year, two years ago. This just looks strange. Can I talk to you, Fang, from here? What's up, Fang? No. Can't talk to people when you're right, in, right up next to him. You're invading her personal space. Talk to me here, Fang. Definitely don't have enough time to record another episode, I don't think yet. So. Actually, maybe I do. Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> if it's another 40 minute one like that, I think it's going to be a bit iffy, but I'd rather um, get prepared. Get Be prepared. I don't know. That's. <laughs> Apologises. It's not a great customization. It just sort of is. Yeah, I, I feel like if you wanted to make it. Oh, I actually forgot to put. I forgot to put anything on the ceiling down, didn't I? I, d I just straight up forgot. I was meant to put a chandelier down. Um, oh, well, I guess the, the pillars make up for it. Um, yeah, I, th I think this person had a right idea of basically just doing the same chair over and over again, but customising it for different colours, so then things look a bit more cohesive. It just, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking at all of these. People have done, even ones which are really good, still look a bit strange. I think it's just a, a strange request. 
And this is my favorite one, but you, you, you have to use, they customize everything to look black and white to tr try and make everything look very chic and refined, which is what I was going for originally. But then I was like, I can't just do that. That's not what a chair store would look like. Yeah, I mean, some of these work, certainly, but I feel like the ones which work best tend to skew away from the actual chair shop theme. I'm not sure, I don't know. Maybe I just don't like automatic, which is pro probably possible, you know, and out of 400, there's definitely going to be a few which just don't jive with me. But anyway, I'm going to round off this episode here, so if you haven't been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons, I've been Dear Darling, any likes, comments, subscriptions, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me Dear Darling on Discord, follow me on Twitter down below. Hope we see each other again, but for now, it's our farewell, so until next time, bye-bye for now.